All right, the follow-up video here on the pattern making and uh, the fabrication of this Lotus 7 nose. Um, so here's the piece or the pattern that we had laid out uh, in the previous video. So I already went ahead and made this side. So we're gonna invert it and make the mirror side to it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a video series. So we'll have a couple videos showing uh, the different power hammers used, the different size thumbnail shrinking dies, uh, radius dies, um, pretty much how to do all the shaping you need to do on this piece uh, with power equipment. So here I have the, the blank already laid out. Again, this is the inverted side. So I took the same pattern I had and I just flip it over. And how I get all these points lined out is I take a, a little uh, automatic center punch and uh, this one right here. So I take this and I lay it on there and I can just ever so lightly put a reference mark. And then I can string tra tape across it, lay everything out with a Sharpie. Uh, usually if I'm doing aircraft parts out of aluminum, I will not use a, a punch. Uh, it'll, be, it'll create a stress riser where the divot is. So on aircraft stuff, I won't do that. On race car stuff, as long as you don't get super carried away and put a big giant dent in it, it's not gonna matter. So I just use a little bit of a, a little bit of a punch mark there as a reference. And by the time it's all metal worked out, blocked and polished, the, the little divot won't be seen. So first up, we're gonna go to the MH19 power hammer with a small thumbnail shrinking dies. And we'll come in and put these light shrinks in. So that'll be in this video. And then the following videos we'll do uh, the larger power hammer with the larger shrink dies. And then again, in the larger power hammer with a, a 36 inch lower radius die and a flat upper to kind of raise this low crown. And there'll be a little bit of wheeling machine work in there as well to, to tighten this radius up. So uh, please stay tuned for the upcoming videos. All right, we're all set up here on my Bailey MH19 power hammer. Uh, I've got the mini thumbnail shrinking dies in there. So what a thumbnail die is, is it's a die like this. It's a male and female. So you've got this little thumb that sticks up and as the, the, as the material comes in and the machine's running, it'll put a tuck similar to that in the material. And as you pull it back out, it'll gather it in around the thumb and you're essentially gathering up the grain structure and thickening the metal. So it's kind of not folding, but it's squeezing everything together and thickening the metal so as it'll shrink. So um, I'll do the demonstration on that and we'll do the light shrinking around the edge. So you can see with just that little bit of uh, light shrinking here that it's starting to pull the material over. So that's roughed in in this area for now. And then I'll switch over to the larger hammer uh, and that'll be in the next video series.